Hey everyone, so I've had some of the worst internet problems of my life today. I tried uploading a video on the, my top 10 favorite movies of all time, but having trouble with that is extremely annoying. So, uh, this is going to be the filler-ish for it. These are my top 5 favorite... Yeah, five. Uh, my top 5 favorite MCU Marvel Legends of all time. Uh, yeah, let's get started with number 5, which is Heimdall. Uh, I really liked Heimdall more than I thought I would. Uh, I mean, it's Heimdall. How can you not love it? Um, but, I mean, when I saw him, I was like, oh, he kind of looks a little too skinny for Idris Elba, but he works. Number four is the Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man 2-Pack Ant-Man. Uh, I, I like it mainly because I'm a huge Ant-Man fan, if you don't know. Um... That was really what got me into Marvel, uh, I, when I went to the comic book store and I picked up an Ant-Man comic, and that's all I read, um, and I got like 20 issues of that, and then I just, you know, fell in love with Marvel. I have the preludes for Ant-Man, the normal Ant-Man, and then Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, I'm excited for Ant-Man 3, so I, I do like him, and having him, having using the suit, um, for this new style motion... Uh, is fun. This one's sort of maybe an unpopular one. I don't know if you guys like this figure. I love the figure and kind of character. It is Captain Marvel at number three. Um, it's just I, I like the colors and then I like the articulation and uh, it just looks nice, you know. Number two is Big Boy himself, Thanos, from the uh. Two pack where he looks a lot nicer because I mean one his head looks spot on looks like Josh Brolin uh, he has nice articulation and pain apps and uh, I I really couldn't ask for much more he feels worthy of that price and then number one is not what you're expecting are you expecting worthy cap because if you were expecting you'd totally be wrong it's Mark eighty Iron Man I just love this figure uh it's not the best Iron Man figure I have. But he is the best one that I spent like twenty dollars on. Um, he's the cheapest Iron Man figure I have, probably, maybe not. Um, but he's the most worth figure I have. Cause one, I've just been loving him, and he's great to pose, and he's fun to mess around with. And two, it's my favorite suit that he's used. So, yeah, that's the list. There are many Marvel Legends on this bed right now because of a uh, big stop motion. I'm about four hundred frames in. So don't expect that soon, because uh, one figure <laughs> that I need, uh, which I'll just tell you right now, I got the Black Widow white costume, uh, the movie one, on pre-order. It's basically, it's all paid for, it's going to come in, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, can't get it right now, due to obvious reasons I don't need to re-illustrate. I also have that in the Optimus Prime, the new Earthrise Optimus Prime, uh, both on pre-order, so... I want both of those right now, but we just gotta wait. So yeah, those are my top five Marvel Legends. I'll see you in the next video. This is list week. Every day will be a different list. Tomorrow will be all-time favorite movies, and then after that, it will be a, uh, a pretty fun one, uh, since yesterday was 22 onward films, or uh, 22 Pixar films onward included. I'm very tired, and also hating the internet right now. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.